Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Bardic Inspiration. Um, my name is Dylan, and I am coming to you live from the smoky uh, and wet uh, uh, Pacific Northwest, um, where the air is actually more or less toxic outside. Um, hey, what we've got that in common. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Uh, not so wet here, it's just smoky. Yeah, the theme of 2020 is wear a mask. Um, doesn't yeah, matter what you're doing. One. Doesn't matter if you're sick or not. <laughs> if you're just going outside to, you know, take out the garbage, whatever it is, uh, uh, definitely wear a mask. <laughs> I, uh, I equate it to, it's like being at a barbecue, but you were forced to eat a charcoal briquette oh. rather than a hamburger. Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, it feels like. That's what it tastes like when you walk outside, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't um I don't smoke. I have I have smoked. Uh, <laughs> um so I am acutely aware of what it's like to wake up uh with the old ashtray mouth. And Ugh. the last week in a bit has been that. Cuz the the first night uh uh, we normally sleep with our windows wide open because it's summer and it's the air is nice. And so we wake up and it's just, oh, God, what's happening? Is something on fire? Like, And it's like, as it turns out, um, Oregon, Washington, and Northern California are on fire. <laughs> so Southern California, too. Oh, Southern California. We thought we, Yay. We, thought we, joined, we, thought we joined into the fun. Yay. Um, so it's it's uh, it's been a time. Yep. Yeah. Um, it has. And speaking of time, it's been two weeks since we saw each other. Yeah, yeah. Labor Day weekend last week and everybody getting back to school in some places and things moving forward. And uh, I don't know. It's been uh, – it feels like longer though. Like time – the news cycle, like time passes so quickly right now. <laughs> like I mean, it, it feels like it, it drags, but – It doesn't. It doesn't. Like part of me um, – feels like march was yesterday yeah another part of me feels like march was a million years ago so, yeah yeah i don't know part parts of life on hold other parts of life are just just blazing yeah uh, uh, <sighs> and by blazing literally every, everything around us <laughs> clearly i know yeah um anyways uh last last episode we put together a pretty cool song i think for uh an original champion, an Eberron song about an artificer. Uh, and we usually yeah. like to kick off our episodes uh, by doing a, a reprisal of the last tune. Um, and luckily I just refreshed my memory on it. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you're, you, were, you were saying that uh, normally you record them on your phone so you can remember it. And last yeah, but time around someone, somebody called you. Someone called me during the middle of it. <laughs> and I realized that it stopped recording. So yeah. Yep. Shame on you, person who tried to call me. <laughs> uh, I can't even remember. Yeah. Because they're no longer in my life because they called me yeah. during the show. You just took your phone. You're like, that's how I feel yeah, about I'm this. I'm like deleted, blocked for calling during the <laughs> song. You should know better by now. You're going to call me. Check Twitch first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make sure make sure you're not already in a show or well, already I performing. I host this show for my channel, so you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Miller's Music channel, Mondays. What I'm up to. Hmm? Did you was was Amy Vorpal this week or is Amy Vorpal coming up? Last night. Yeah, Last night. It was okay. Awesome. I remember yeah, seeing so, the I mean, notification it's on, about it's it. On, you can watch it on VOD. My VODs are free. Uh, so yeah, check out my channel, uh, which is my name, and Amy Vorpal was my guest last night, and it was super fun because. We've written like 30 plus songs together. Yeah. When we were on Foreververse together on mm -hmm. um, Geek and Sundry. And so uh, we like reminisced about that and we just played a bunch of old songs that we had written and it was super fun. Cool. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend people check it out. I uh, uh, I don't get to watch things at night anymore. I was putting a child to bed. <laughs> Well, and luckily my show's only an hour long, so yeah. it's kind of it's digestible. No. You know, it's not it's not like a four hour time commitment or something. No, I'm gonna grab the vod after this. Um, uh, God, I'm bad with names, um, but you had a, a really uh, somebody who was really awesome on a keyboard, uh, um, like a couple weeks ago. Fuck, I can't remember his name. Oh, uh, are you talking about Ellis? Uh, Ellis Hall. Ellis yes. Hall? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was listening to that. It was awesome. 
he's a soul music legend. Uh, he sang for Tower Power. Um, he also was one of the original singing California Raisins. <laughs> I heard it through the grapevine. I mean, and he, he, he was also the singing rooster in the movie Chicken Run. I mean, like it goes on and on. This guy's done everything. Yeah. Um, not, not to mention have an awesome career himself. Ellis Hall. Yeah, that was super cool. Um, I was listening I'm to it. I'm glad you found so. that one. It's one of my favorite episodes. So, um, Anyways, I heard Bye. on the grapevine how longer it'll be wine. What? Yeah, I'm how much sure longer? I'm not sure what that guy's. Uh, oh, uh, Michael USA. How much longer would you be my? I don't know. Till I'll be. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I get it. I get it, Michael. Yeah. Um. Okay, oh, but man. right now we're gonna go into grunge land. Yep. We're yep. Yep. Grunge it up. Get our sound garden on. Mm -hmm. Um, sitting here on the lyrics to, uh, I guess, <laughs> "Artificer of My Fate" seems like the name of the song. Yep. Uh, um, okay. Well, without further ado, let's let's rock this out. So we wrote this two weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, with your help, chat, uh, which is what happens on this show. Mm -hmm. If you're watching it, you probably know what we're doing, hopefully. Um, but yeah, okay. This was a group effort and uh, artist artificer of my feet.
I dig it. Nice, I dig it too. I dig it too. Oh man, man. yeah, it's uh, man. it takes me back to the well, the nineties. Just like just chilling out in like I don't know, maybe ninety three. <laughs> yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. Uh, just enjoying it. I know you got to see it. You got to watch the magic happen, right? Because you lived in. Seattle during the grunge movement. I lived near Seattle, yeah. You know what's funny is um, there used to be a really good live music venue here in Victoria. There isn't really now. Um, nobody, the, the music scene here is kind of has ups and downs, and obviously it's dead this year, like it is everywhere. But um, uh, we used to have this place called Harpo's. And um, oh, that's funny because I used to play a place in Detroit called Harpo's. Uh, this guy, okay. uh, the guy who ran it here. Um, was paying attention in the early 90s. So most of the big bands that came out of Seattle played there before they made it really big. Uh, cool. Although Nirvana did not. Uh, uh, and everybody always thinks that Nirvana just like was going to play there, but they didn't. But uh, a lot of the other ones, all the big ones, uh, they all did. Cool. Uh, and then like it's just a shift in ownership thing, right? Like It got sold. Somebody else took it over. They didn't really try to do the same thing. And like, right. yeah, it's uh, you gotta, you gotta uh, I guess what I'm saying is uh, when you have those awesome live music venues and you have those places that you love going to see shows, support them if you can, because that, that stuff disappears pretty easy. <laughs> uh, and I mean, there's going to be a lot of venues that, that aren't, aren't going to survive this time, which totally sucks. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, and I mean, I guess others will jump up in their place, but, you know. Yeah, it's a bummer. It's a bummer. Yeah. For sure. Uh, but what's not a bummer <laughs> it's is this show. This show isn't a bummer. <laughs> yeah. The show's amazing. Well, uh, and this is like, uh, is, wait, what race is Deacon? Uh, it's, uh, he's a kobold. Yeah, this would be our second yeah, so kobold wait, song. Wait, 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 wait. So this is the second kobold song we've written. Yep. in the first nine episodes. Yeah. So we yep. had nine episodes of this show so far. Yeah. And now two out of the nine, roughly what, twenty three percent, will be about kobolds. Yep. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a couple more kobolds in the game. We could always prioritize them later. <laughs> Why don't we just call it Kobold Inspiration? Yeah. Co <laughs> we'll just we'll just change the name of the show. Yeah, yeah, but I uh, also love that Deacon is a bard. So Deacon is a bard, and Deacon only sings songs about his upcoming demise. <laughs> so, um, really, yeah. pretty much, yeah. Every song is just like he's just like bleakly. I mean, he's acutely aware that he is a fragile, kobold bard, and so he just like pessimistically sings about how he's going to die over and over again. Um, That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Um. Which is just uh, funny to think of. I guess that's part of what makes him such an endearing character. But um, did, you, did you have an idea of what kind of genre of music you were thinking for Deacon? No, I thought maybe we would. I thought maybe we would ask the um, yeah ask people what they want. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll set up a poll actually. Yeah. Ooh. So let's see uh, response. Uh, what? How do how do we want to what what kind of genres do you do we want to include in the what genre should it be? I mean, it could be anything from like do we want a sort of like traditional bardic song to uh, a ballad to a uh, rock song to um, folk a folk song. Uh, somebody put reggae. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, that would be cool, but I don't feel comfortable representing that. So, yeah. Alrighty, this will be a. This is gonna be a short one. So, poll okay. begins now. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah. Traditional bardic song, ballad, rock, or folk. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Down, 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 as it goes down. 
You know, every time I hear of folk music these days, what I think of is that movie Inside Llewellyn Davis, <laughs> where Oscar Isaac just plays a jerk folk singer. Yeah, his, that's right. And his life is just a disaster. Mm -hmm. uh, what a great film that was. That was sort of Oscar Isaac's breakout role, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that was his first leading role movie, and he just kind of, mm -hmm. everything went from there. And now he's the, the Duke of House Atreides in Dune, so... I know. Yeah. It looks like Rock is uh, absolutely thumping everything else. All right. Yeah. Not a lot of not a lot of folk singers in the in the audience. <laughs> Do people even know what folk music is even anymore? Like is it something it's, it's not. Oh, well, I mean folk music kind of exists of course in a in a new way, but um popularly it might it might fall into the Americana um category yeah bob dylan is folk folk mm -hmm. folk rock americana music anyways um rock is the winner with more than half of the vote overall so rock is the winner it'll be rock yeah all right uh yeah so i mean there's a lot of subgenres of rock <laughs> there's a lot of directions it can go in lined up on the screen somebody's saying do country do country country is always depressing that is true i am you know we could do uh we could do uh like alt country yeah we could do rock country so that the people that voted for rock don't get pissed yeah that would work southern rock yeah oh that's like my wheelhouse so yeah let's do here. it okay yeah. <laughs> Southern rock, a southern rock kobold opening line. We're like we're 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 mixing so many genres right now.
I heard, as it were, uh, Garahar always has great ideas. The noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, come and see. And I saw. <laughs> and behold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, but is this, all right, is it about him or is it a, is it from his point of view? I think I think we should do it from his point of view because he has this very fatalistic uh, idea of how things are going to go for him because he's just a small kobold. He doesn't see himself as making a difference. The kobold comes around. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just a simple male, so listen to my tale. Um, like instead, because there's so many country songs that say like simple man, but yeah, the kobold not a man. He's a, he's still a male though. So I'm just a simple male. Come and listen to my tale. Um, Right. I mean, like a, a little short thing, because I, like, I feel like for the verse, it's like, I'm just a simple man, come and listen to my tale, no, no, no. This little kobold won't be growing too old. Right, kobolds have tails, right. So they tell tales and they have tails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's yeah, a, yeah. Of course, orally it's the same thing, but. <laughs> Oh, I'm just waiting to fail. Hmm. Story, story of joy and gloom, story of internal fables of great and doom. Okay. I meant I said or orally though, as in a uh, like audibly, it's the same thing. Ah, good old English language. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, so it's the same thing again. Orally and orally. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Just a simple that long i'm just I, I i was uh making our job too hard for us like, just a simple man don't listen to my tale About a kobold whose life was bound to fail. 
Just a simple man Come and listen to my tale About a cold morning fly was bound to fail Doomed to fail, yep, better Better MS Snyder 84 Doomed to fail He says doom a lot It is his favorite word to say then we have then we have to use doom a lot. No, you got the word right. Suple, you got it right. Survive singing my songs till death arrives. I like that one, Techno Sojourner. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to change that to Doom. Doom to fade. Fighting to survive. Till death. Hold on. I feel like the this part should be over here, right? Yep, it like should. It feels like we need need something in the middle. Yes. Singing my song, singing my song, still death around. And another thing about country and southern rock is they often sing about singing songs. Like there's so many songs in country and southern rock that are singing songs about an, another song. <laughs> That's yep. actually good. Singing my songs, fighting to survive. Da 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 da. Singing my songs till death arrives. Oh, that's awesome. I'm fighting to survive every day that I'm alive. Singing my song till death arrives. Just sing me. Don't listen to my tale. About a cold bone of life with no fear. Fighting to survive. Yeah, probably two more like that till we hit like a pre chorus or a chorus. Okay. okay. Singing my epic songs. Singing my epic songs. That's good, nefarious. Singing my epic songs. You will down the rise. Singing my epic song, you never mind. Yeah, that's... Ooh, who will sing it after we die? I like that. Uh, just write that. Let's write that down somewhere down at the bottom. Who will sing it after we all die? Oh, that, that could be the chorus, honestly. Who will sing my songs after I die? Who will da-da-da-da-da? You know, yeah, yeah. Who will <laughs> sing my song? Who will sing my song after I die? That's... Very country. That's that's kobold country. <laughs> yeah.
I just realized that he almost exclusively speaks in third person. Oh, does he really? Well, then that's perfect. <laughs> gonna have fun i'm really having fun with this yeah on that note can i switch my and i'm to his and i like come and listen to a tale about a kobold whose life is doomed to fail fighting to survive every day that he's alive singing his epic songs till death survive death arrives okay just so it's in third person sure so then it would would we go to third would we go to first person for the course or would you want to keep it third for the whole time. I think first person for the chorus is fine. Yeah. Okay. Someone wrote Kobold Country this <laughs> this fall on HBO Max. <laughs> Kobold Country. Uh, yeah. A lot of intense stuff on HBO Max these days. I watch that show. But nothing as intense as Kobold Country. Never. Yeah. schooled on on deacon's uh i'm looking at a, a page of all of his dialogue and he yeah he's very consistent in his third person
I'm, I'm kind of like working on the chorus. At the same yeah, time. I see that. <laughs> That's like I'm looking at the uh, to myself. The rest yeah. of it, yeah. I think I've got it. Oh. So check this out. I think I got the chorus. So it's like, who's gonna sing my song after I die? Who's gonna tell you taking home a cry? Who's gonna send this minstrel home to his place up in the sky? What do you think? I like it. Just home and home. I need to just figure out what. who's going to send this minstrel off. Off, maybe minstrel up. Or no. Who's going to send this minstrel? <laughs> Who knows? Deacon is more than the doom guy. We all do. We all do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're forming. We're forming Deacon. We're giving Deacon pivotal backstory and kobold country charm. You don't have to use that one. I was just throwing it in while I was thinking about it. Mm, okay. Um, all righty. It's gotta be something about him and the boss because he always refers to the hero character as the boss. Oh, okay. I wonder if we can incorporate that in the course somehow. Yeah. Maybe. I'm wondering if we should try and commit to the third person all the way through. Because just changing my to his is pretty... Who's gonna like, who's going to sing his song when he dies? Or who's after he dies? Cry, who's going to send this minstrel? That still works. Who's going to light his pyre and say goodbye? Okay. Sing a song after it dies. Who's gonna carry a deacon home and cry? Who's gonna send this minstrel off to his place up in the sky? Who's gonna light his pie? Who's gonna light his pie? Say goodbye, say goodbye. 
it could be the, if that's easier. Who's gonna light the pyre and say goodbye? Who's gonna light the pyre and say goodbye? Come on, last to play. Then I wonder. I wonder if there's like a two-syllable word for right. Run, go. It'd be cool to have that. There you go. The world of me and his heart and heart and Dickens just a bar. Come on, last to play. Perfect car. Thanks, Mycroft Jones. Um, I'll be right back. I do a bio break. No Sorry worries. That's all good. It happens. I've been streaming since like 1030 this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fair. And also, I, I mean, I could talk nonstop for two hours if I need to. Do so, it. I'll be yeah, right back. I can do that. <laughs> uh, so uh, it, one of the fun things about working on Deacon Scale Singer, uh, when we in, it put him into the game in the first year, actually, year one champion uh, for, I want to say, Dragon Down. Is Dragon Down the event that he's in? Um, we reached out to our friends at Beamdog, and they sent us the assets that they had for him. They sent us his character sheets from Neverwinter Nights. They sent us uh, in-game character models and just like all, all kinds of stuff as we tried to work on the design for the game. Uh, but one of the things that they sent us is a quotes document with like the bulk of the random stuff that he says in-game, and that, which is what I'm referencing when i talk about the third person when i and i keep looking at throughout this it's just like there's just so many quotes but i was like oh wait these are all in third person which is why we made the adjustment to the song and then uh yeah just kind of um trying to make sure that you know as best as we can being true to this character uh because deacon's a pretty awesome character what can i say yeah a few give us give you a few of the cobalt quotes um, see, they're not going to be funny if I say them the way that they are when you, um, when they're in the games, but, uh, you know, he just gets very excited about stuff. There's a limerick, like, there once was a man from the moon sea whose limericks only went to line three and never went further, <laughs> which is, it's terrible. Um, but I guess that's his charm is that he's not a good bard, <laughs> you know? This song that we're making is the song that, you know, once he's leveled up his bard high enough, he just grabs the wish spell and he's like, I wish to write the greatest song I could ever write. And that's what this is. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. Fixing the focus. Yeah. Yep. Webcams, man. Logitech 920C. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's actually what we're using here is two of those. Yeah, every once in a while it does the thing. Yeah, yeah. it just kind of blurs out. Um, I mean, if you have enough light, it doesn't do it at all, but uh, yeah, hmm. technology. I don't know. I got a lot of light in here, but. Let's see.
It was perfect. I was going to do the other streaming show last week when we were off. And then they had a scheduling issue. And then they were literally back to back. <laughs> what are you going to do? I say no to nothing. I say yes to everything. Exactly, the snack singer. Sorry, I need some energy. <laughs> I'm back. Oh yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. I ate just before I started, um, and unfortunately, I ate salad, so I'll probably have to pee at some point too. A lot of water in salad. Yep. Yep. I mean, you know, we're bags of mostly water, as they say, but. But now he's yeah. with the boss. It's got to be something with the boss here. Something with the boss changing mm -hmm. things slightly. Yeah. Shadow of the Boss. Ooh, I like that better. That's way more epic. Shadow of the Boss. <laughs> not, not that boss. Yeah, not that boss. Not the <laughs> boss. Go. Just the boss. Yeah. Shadow of the Boss. I need another bit to go there after that. Something about like his words are at a loss. Yeah. Because he doesn't. Because his that's where his limerick, limericks end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something about paying the cost. I'll never right. suffer any loss. Well, Deacon, Deacon never gets that confident in anything, right? Like, He's a kobold. He's acutely aware of that he's on the bottom of the pecking order, and he's used to it. And like, one of the quotes is like, "Deacon tired, feet sore, back hurting. Little Deacon feel like big bag of clam shells bashed on ground repeatedly. Overall good. <laughs> like, overall good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Things are shit, but overall that's pretty all right for me. <laughs> like, you know. So, uh, uh, yeah." That uh, one's not really working for in the shadow of the boss. We could do that later. Um, What's that? His words are at a law. Deacon's words are at a loss in the, in the shadow of the boss. Why right, couldn't we flip them? Yeah. He knows. Deacon's words are at a loss in the shadow of the boss. A hero who, but up, but up, but up, pay the cost. A hero, a hero who, who in hero knows, a hero knows he's got to pay the cost. That's kind of jumping into the... Yeah. 
Mm. Not quite. Deacon's words are at a loss in the shadow of the boss. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's just not something's not working. No, nope, we'll just keep we'll keep going. We'll we'll save that for later then. Yeah. I mean, do we want to save boss for later or? Um, I mean, he always refers to the hero that he travels with as the boss. So we could, we could put it in a bunch of times and it's not going to get, uh, it's not going to be too much. So yeah, a couple of mm, Maybe line to cross or something. He can found himself a boss. Oh, his words were at a loss. Yet he he doesn't know which line he shouldn't cross. I'm trying to look up things that rhyme with uh, "boss" and "loss," and it's just. Not so great. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I mean, we can do near rhymes that would still work. Across, crossed. I like that uh, Doom is everywhere and Deacon not despair. I think we could do something with like that. Yeah, I like that. I got better Deacon not despair.
Yeah, Deacon, not to spare. The boss is always there. <laughs> Doom is everywhere, but do you cannot despair because the boss, because the boss Dada is always there. Because his favorite boss is always there. He's confident the boss is always there. I'm in it. Let's, yeah, let's hear it. I'm see at how that. it works. Can we have like a little pre chorus that's, that's short? To get to the chorus, so it's just like. It doesn't even have to rhyme with anything. It could be its own thing. Yeah. Mm. But since we, I mean, I don't mind using boss later, but I don't want to use boss the very next line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he have a, a little catchphrase or something? Uh, or, or he just catchphrase? says doom over and over again. <laughs> Shh, doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Who came up with him? <laughs> yeah, do I mean, know? the doom the doom song <laughs> is just the word doom over and over and over again. Um, give me a question like what's this what's what's this cobalt to do or something It just uh, there's a there's a quote in here. It's like he knows uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Deacon knows all stories of dragons and heroes. Well, okay, some stories. Well, a few maybe because they is long and hard to read. <laughs> but um, but I was thinking uh, uh, something about uh, bards knowing a whole bunch of songs and stories, um, but never knowing the end of their own. Hmm. That could fit, because then it goes into the chorus theme. Bonds know every story about their own. Let me try that so far. Just 
just a bar. No one has to pay the perfect car. Tumors everywhere. Dicking out to swear. Confident of the laws is our way there. Bars know every story about the wrong. Who's gonna sing a song after we die? What do you think of that? I was about to say something. I'm like, oh, volume back up. I, I think it's good. I think it's coming together. I think, uh, I think it's good. Yeah, I'm digging it. Kind of has like a Hank Williams Jr. vibe to it or something. I like it. <laughs> so this point is probably about exploits, right? Yeah. Now we need a. Now we need another verse about all the deacony things that he did. Whoa, kill them all. Lots of strings of mine in here. <laughs> are those some, are those some, uh, Deacon quotes? From kill them all? Uh, I don't think it's all quotes. Just sort of inspired Deacon, Deacon yeah. inspired Deaconisms? Yeah, yeah. It's very Deacony. <laughs> Yeah, whereas somebody else is doing down with the sickness lyrics for some reason. Uh, let's see. I guess one of the other things is that uh, 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 Deacon sees everybody as characters in a book, in the in this book, this epic story that he's writing. Mm. I mean the the story in the the game before Idol Champions that he's in, like he you know, he goes to the Underdark, he goes to Cania, the eighth layer of the nine hells. Jeez. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well he, he, he accompanies the hero on the hero's journey, right? Yeah. True. You know, he's he's definitely a sidekick to a hero's journey. Sometimes it's your journey, and sometimes you're uh, along somebody else's journey. Is that right? Yeah, they, they fought Mephistopheles and won. Wow. Who was he with? Well, the whoever the player characters. Oh, the okay, sure. Is, right? Sure. Yeah. With whoever you want him to be with. Player one. Doom, doom, doom. Deacon fights through the gloom. There's light at the end of this tunnel, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's saying we should do a song about Spurt. We did do a song about Spurt. 
and it was a pretty short song. <laughs> we did that like God two months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like the third song, I think. Yeah, it was one of the early ones for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking at all these quotes. Jump yeah. yeah. just a simple sidekick. I'm lucky I'm alive, kick. <laughs> I'm lucky I'm alive, kid. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just a simple sidekick who's lucky. Hmm. He's lucky he's alive. Everyone just loves to just to say doom, doom, doom. We yeah. get it. Yeah, we yeah. get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a simple sidekick who hopefully won't die quick. I like that. Oh, I love that too. Just a simple sidekick who hopefully won't die quick. He can stand. Deacon has lots to do when he gets home. Hmm. <laughs> if we keep it to the same rhyme scheme, then it should be. Uh, we need to have an ick. One yeah. more ick rhyme. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nefarious, he did. He kind of switched it around. It's like just a simple sidekick, but this bard still has a few tricks. Hopefully, Deacon won't die that quick. Yeah, I like that. Let's go with that. Thanks, Nefarious. Just a simple sidekick. But this bond still has a few tricks. Hopefully, they can won't die that quick. Hopefully, they can won't die that quick. What 
else we got? What else we got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't care much about reading. Hmm. Yeah, that was only a small portion of the quotes. I got a whole bunch more. Good brain. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> it's a good character. Who wrote those quotes? Uh, these are just whoever wrote his dialogue in Neverwinter. <laughs> there, here's a, another few dozen. Yeah. Deacon gots complete confidence in you. Deacon knows that you great hero you is. <laughs> yeah, Nefarious, this is a water <laughs> this is a water Davian mule. There's actually just water in here, but I feel like this cup is sort of like appropriate. So I just have a swell bottle. <laughs> Why don't we play what we have so far? What do you think? Let's do that again, just so yep. I don't forget. Okay. It's good. It, it, you can kind of like go go all around it, you know, like sort of taking different places, um, jamming on it. Just a phase, a way to cheat the evil's gaze. Yeah, life is a real maze. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that could be a bridge portion or something. We got a way to go. 
Ain't got so far left to go. Just a minute. How about just many? Or he's got so far to go. So many stories left to know. Yeah, that's cool. He's got he's he's got so far left to go. So many stories left to know. Deacon something. Yeah. Grow. <clears throat> That's not bad at all. He's got he's got so far left to go. So many stories left to know. Epic songs to write back to the falls. Are we wanting to do the short line after that again? Yes. Yeah, I don't I, I, I think it's best to do a half half length versus the second half through on yeah. this. But I don't know. Let, let's change that to could we could we change it to something that rhymes with the first one? So Bards uh, know every story but their own. Bards learn every story. Till they're grown. I need I need own rhymes. I'm looking. Do it, rhyme zone. What do you got um, for me? Crone. Et phone home. Throw. Him. Have I ever thrown him anywhere? Gravestone. That's a good one back here. Actually, I, the first thing was on there, but uh, learn every story but their own. Um, alone rhymes with that. Something about uh, uh, how they can't do this alone. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then it's just a, an electric guitar solo singing, saying the word doom over and over again for five minutes. It's not really working, yeah. It could just be like bards can't. 
or Deacon. Bards can't live there. Bards can't. All alone. Could be Bards can't learn their stories all alone. It sings better, I think. There we go. That's a, that's. I can't end. learn them stories all alone. Okay. So we went wanting another short verse, like the second section, or I'm just trying to think of. I don't think we want another verse. I think we want like another part. Um. I'm just thinking some words that still fit in the key that we haven't used yet. Yeah, we just need like a little bridge part with maybe two more lines. That's it. Not too many 
kobolds went to hell and back and told you the tale. Yeah, that's it. And told you the tale. Not too many kobolds went to hell and back and told you the tale. Mm -hmm. If we can fit Doom in one more time, I'm sure people would, would appreciate that. <laughs> Not too many kobolds saw their doom and let's see what do I have to tell? Something about fail. Maybe grail, fail. And told you the tale and refused to turn tail. Oh, which is to say, and didn't tail run away. and tail. Yeah, it's tail and tail. The two tails. Refuse to turn tail. Yes, yeah, so it's like not too many kobolds went to hell and back and told you the tale. too long Mephistopheles I know there's no way <laughs> I want to it would be so good if it could Memphis you could be Mephistopheles This little kobold told the Lord of Cania he would fail. Yeah, I mean, and we kind of need longer stuff too, because we could actually, because this is the one where it's like. But, but, it's like a cool build up to the last chorus. We gotta try. We gotta try. <laughs> but this little cold, old told Lord Mephistopheles. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I guess uh, I'm having a hard time grokking how long this line needs to be. Oh, gosh. Ah! <laughs> Actually, rhyme with Mephistopheles there too. So, oh, the little cobalt door, Mephistopheles, in a nana 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 So, actually, the end of Mephistopheles. The little cobalt door, Mephistopheles, that the hero he was with would have him begging on his knees. That just sort of came out, but it could work. Did that sort of, did that sort of, is that kind of what happened? Well, there's also a line, there's a quote from uh, Deacon about how uh, it doesn't need to be right. He's like, lots of epic story gets cut. Of lots of stuff get changed too, even though it's not true. More epic, publishers say. <laughs> Publisher, nice. Yeah. Let's see if that works. So it'd be after um second chorus. So it's like Who's gonna sing in some before and die? Who's gonna carry taking home and cry? song the song of doom southern rock song of doom yeah should we give it a shot i think we should give it a shot here we go i'll tape it this time and hopefully no one calls me i should probably put do not disturb on so that no one calls me airplane mode there we go it shan't not happen again. Oh. 
think you guys like it I like it I liked it good that's <laughs> funny I, I, I like wait awkwardly pause for a few seconds because of the stream delay <laughs> right. yeah. all right techno sojourner thinks it's awesome we'll just stick with that one <laughs> yeah yeah to deacon proud all right we got some stars some fire emotes. Hey, Ben Dukes is a friend of mine. That's great. Maybe Very we'll southern go. rock, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, that's what we were going for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, we picked southern rock as the genre today. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That worked. Um, so we actually already know who some of our upcoming heroes are. Um, because we have uh, a Vivka joining us on the last Tuesday of the month, uh, which is yeah. the 29th, to do a song for the Black Viper, uh, which should be fun. Uh, we were originally going to do that today, but we had to reschedule because of a scheduling conflict. So uh, uh, Vivid Vivka uh, uh, and uh, a song with the Black Viper will come at the end of the month. Uh, next week, I think we'll be doing a song to celebrate the launch of the next character coming to the game. Oh, great. Um, yep. Is that still a surprise? Um, it is known who the next character is. Uh, we haven't talked about it a huge amount because an event just finished this past Monday. And uh, we have a very, very big event uh, uh, coming out tomorrow, a week-long 
celebration around our third anniversary uh, as well. Uh, just tons of social media and blogs and stuff going out about features and everything right now. Um, but yeah, next week uh, we can do a song for a great big Minotaur Barbarian with two flaming swords named uh, Torogar Steel Fist. That sounds pretty metal. I think I think we need uh, to go metal for that one. I feel like we should. It's one of the characters that Joe created for uh, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Um, oh, does that come in like his little mini pack? Yes, there are there are uh, a couple different mini packs uh, that exist with those characters in them, and so there's the like uh, Archon the Cruel is in the Force Gray pack, and then there's also um, Archon the Cruel, Torgar Steel Fist, and Krull uh, in uh, uh, both Gale Force Nine and Wiz Kids mini packs. I think the Wiz Kids ones even has a like a pre painted comes with a white Abishai and some other stuff too. Like there's a bunch of them, um, but yeah, uh, if we're gonna do Torgar Steel Fist. We should probably do some kind of metal. What kind of metal? There's a lot of different kinds. Yeah. Uh, you know. The singable kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Need, to sing, we need to sing, at least. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, black metal. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We could do, I don't know, Finnish epic metal. We could do, like, there's a bazillion different kinds of metal. There, there's no, There's no shortage of variety. Uh, but I think what we can do, because we already know in advance who it's going to be, um, you know, we'll give uh, Jason some time to uh, percolate on what kind of yeah, metal best some suits. Riffs, dude, some riffs. Yeah. Yeah. K-pop metal hybrid. Mm. Yeah, baby metal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, something close to the early days of Metallica. I mean, all my favorite Metallica came out in the 80s pretty much, so that's understandable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's there's so much metal music out there. You know, progressive metal, prog metal. You mean like Tool? Some people call that prog metal. It's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of different kinds. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I mean, we find ourselves 15 minutes out, 14 minutes out from the end of the show, which is no. unusual for us. Uh, so do we want to... We're usually down to the wire. Yeah, do we want to do another song? Yeah. Uh, is there okay. something that people want to hear? I could pull the audience. We could we uh, could do oh, okay. Yeah, pull the audience is good. Uh, which song would you like to hear? Um, so what was the last one? The last one was the Zaps. Uh, 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 or actually, you know what I could do is I could I could do them by the song names. Brimstone Angels, go, go, go. <laughs> yeah. Drop of Time. Um, what was one of the other really popular ones we did? Um, well, we could do the other... Well, uh, I mean, if we're keeping we're keeping the country vibe, we could do uh, Short Life, Big Heart. We could do The Key of Rock. That's a good one. All righty. This will be a one-minute poll. I did it by song names instead of the characters just to make it confusing for people. So which one of these five songs would you like to hear? Well, voting's all over the place. Anything could happen. Yeah. Brimstone Angels are coming in from behind. Oh, yeah. Key of Key Rock. Rock. Getting close. Oh, man. Not Brimstone much time left. Front. Key of Rock <laughs> and neck and neck. Yeah, yeah. Brimstone gets one more. Ah. Oh, oh, they're counting up oh. at the same time. <laughs> and, yep. Brimstone pulling it in from behind. That wow. was that was cutting it close. That was uh, wise. That was good. Yeah. And luckily, I have all my notes for that, including the chords. Thank goodness. 
because we write these things so fast, right? That like as as uh, as you'll attest to, we write them so fast that I often I'll know the chords when we're doing them, right? Here. But then I go back a, a week later, and I'm like, uh, what was I playing there? So luckily with Brimstone Angels, I wrote the chords down on another on another dock as we were doing it. So. Somebody asking who Drop of Time was. Drop of Time is the Strahd one. Yeah. yeah. So that I would have written who they were as well as the song names, but um, there's not enough room in the characters list for the poll thing <laughs> on Twitch for that. So uh, uh, I limited it uh, to song names. So anyway, here's Wonderwall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Today. All right. Uh we ready for this one we're, we're never Wonder fully Wall. ready for it but we're excited <laughs> i know there's so many songs we couldn't put them all in the in the poll yeah it's true i mean this is song number nine i know okay all you right ready? yep quieting me I met the devil It was a cold and stormy day He was slightly disheveled I felt a spark there anyway He taught me Eldritch Blast And I was sure this love would last They all told me no But he's the devil that I know Faster than I remember it being. I guess it's the pop punk song we did, so it's yeah, like yeah, it's the pop punk one. Goes at a yeah. goes at a clip. It's it's quick. Yeah, yeah, You know, mm. I think that one's competing with uh, Strahd for me for the one that I that like I think of the most and that I find humming to myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, I forgot to include Space Hamster Blues in that list. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, but the the key of rock was a very close second place, only one vote behind, and we do have a bit more time. Okay, uh, uh, you know what? I 
I need to unprofessionally just check the riff really quick on that one. Sorry, no guys. No worries. It's all good. Yeah. I mean, we could also call it early and just like shut down the stream and be like, see you guys. <laughs> Gonna go get a drink. <laughs> do that. <laughs> uh, just teasing them. Just. <laughs> Wonderful, uh, a little more, a little more thunderstruck than uh, some of the other stuff that we've done. Yeah, let me hold on. Okay, I think I got it. If I screw up, it's been a few weeks. <laughs> Three, four weeks. Yep. Uh, I, th I think I got it. I think I got it, guys. All right. The key of rock, hopefully. Uh, hold on, let me tune. We go, key rock. Heading down the road to find the key of rock. No, this is my path, there ain't no way to stop. This is what I'm training for. The key to open every door. And if you plug my way, I'm gonna.
Nice. Um, and that that brings Woo. us brings us to the end. Um, so yeah, what's the date today? The fifteenth of September. Uh, uh, this has been our Bardic Inspiration for the fifteenth of September, two thousand twenty. Um, first and foremost, I want to uh, thank the talent Jason Charles Miller uh, for joining me here uh, uh, nearly every week, uh, with some weeks off. Um, and uh, also our hey, that uh, ain't my call, man. Uh, our <laughs> invisible but uh, 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 supremely important and helpful uh, moderator, co-producer, co-executive producer uh, Jay, uh, who is yes, managing the Jay. chat and doing all those things and sending me notes and and stuff like that. Couldn't do this without you. So um, yeah, I'm likely deleting any bad comment about my guitar playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully. Just over, <laughs> just ban hammering everybody who says anything that's out of line. Uh, <laughs> uh, this show exists because of lots of really cool people. Uh, uh, the ones you see, the ones you don't see, uh, some ones at D&D, &D, some ones that go to entertainment. Uh, uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll uh, catch you tomorrow. Well, we'll, well we will catch you uh, for another Bardic Inspiration next week. Uh, but otherwise, uh, hopefully you'll tune into uh, uh, the channel tomorrow as we do another day of streaming to celebrate the third anniversary of Idle Champions. So. That's so awesome. Cheers. You're going to be streaming all, all day, right? Uh, 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, that's right. what we have lined up for this year. Uh, Maybe I'll pop in chat and terrorize you. Yeah, you should. Yeah, just troll us. Be like, hey, when's this coming? Where am I? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Anyways, have an excellent day, everybody. Take care. We'll catch you tomorrow. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs>